My name is Troy Ingram and I am a cloud engineer on the Sandbar contract. Some of the most pressing cybersecurity challenges facing the government customer right now would be data protection and privacy, insider threat, and incident response. For data protection and privacy, government agencies manage a vast amount of sensitive and classified data. Ensuring that the data remains confidential and only available to those that are authorized to view it is crucial. For insider threats, personnel, especially those with administrative privileges, if not monitored, can pose a significant security risk. Some of the ways the government customers can resolve or mitigate these challenges would be for data protection and privacy would be to use encryption tools. For insider threats, you want to use tools that are monitoring and logging. And as far as a best practice, you want to apply the principle of least privilege and regularly review and audit the access logs. For incident response, you're going to want to use cloud native security information and event management or SIEM solutions. And as far as the best practice, you want to make sure that you develop and routinely test the incident response plans. Some additional general best practices as far as securing an environment would be to use infrastructure as code, patch management, and enabling multi-factor authentication. In my opinion, the three cyber priorities for the federal government going into 2024 would be a shift towards zero trust architecture, modernization of the government IT infrastructure, and workforce development and training. The shift towards a zero trust architecture is gonna be crucial. Zero trust architecture is where no entity inside or outside of the network perimeter is inherently trusted. And this demands new strategies and tools to implement in the cloud. As far as modernization of the IT infrastructure, many government agencies operate with legacy systems that are not only inefficient, but pose a significant security vulnerability. For workforce development and training, to keep up with the evolving cyber threats, the government's going to need skilled and a sizable labor force of cybersecurity professionals. Efforts to recruit, train, and even upskill cybersecurity professionals is going to be critical. Over the next five to 10 years, I see the cybersecurity sector evolving in a number of different ways, two of which I think would be AI and machine learning and more of a shift towards zero trust. For AI and machine learning, it's already starting to become a trend. However, I think over the next five to 10 years, you'll see an increased reliance in AI and machine learning to predict, detect, and respond to cybersecurity threats. On the flip side of that, these tools are gonna to be used as a defensive capability for us. However, they will be most likely used by our adversaries for more sophisticated cybersecurity attacks. And the next one would be a shift towards zero trust. It was noted earlier by me that I think it's gonna be very big going into 2024. However, I think even more so over the next five to 10 years. As remote work, the transition to cloud and distributed IT infrastructure become even more popular, I firmly believe that the zero trust model will become the standard that everybody goes off of.